us to see these snacks is just amazing, especially the salesman's travel, travel kit. So I'm getting really excited now. So let's go. I'm gonna write, if you can hold this a moment, I'll brighten the lights. Now this is a travel case. This is a travel case that the salesman's carried to show all their shops what kind of sizes they want. Now, look at this. Now, you can see that this warranty seal, oh no, it's the right way up. I have the box the wrong way up because they're both the same sides. So it is the right, it's the right hand side. It's on the left hand side with the government seal with the shield halfway on both ends and looking very close it's got the serrated edge to the government seal so this is pre-embargo and the, 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 the government seal is extremely green so you're looking at you are looking at early 50s here it's got the latch the metal handle See, now you got all these numbers. Oh man, so this is the range of numbers we have. So you weren't wrong on the numbers. So 37, 107, 135s. Now see, all of these are factory numbers. So this is what was used in the factories. Numbers, not names. Where nowadays they use names. This is one beautiful piece and rare. This is a rare piece. And to find it in New York, that's even, even better. <laughs> Number 57, 77, 117, 91, 175. 145, 153, 155, 107, 27, 37, 1, 185, 157. So the difference here is that these two are mixed up. Yeah, these two are mixed up, so they need to be twist. Well, the, the in the wrong slot. It. Yeah. Yes. But lift it up. Lift it up. Which we've never done, but. No, would still lift that. So this slides, this slides, yeah, and then lift. And then lift. There you are. Oh my god. And it's still hinged, work in order. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What are these? These should be the wooden box, which is open here. Right. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, it's the same. Two tip and two without. Oh my god. And gosh. I'll bring you a complete box so you can see the outside. Oh, unbelievable. Now, this is a cardboard box. Cardboard box. Now, it, in the old boxes, in box 25s, you got five different gov uh, government seal, uh, warrant, uh, government health warning in five different languages. In the box of 25, they used to have it s um, 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 glued inside the box on the edge. So if you look at an old box of cigars between 1970, six, uh, between 70s and 80s, they will have this on it. So you've got the straighted edge pre-1959 yeah so now he says extra mild bolivars here which um, to get mild bolivars <laughs> it just doesn't happen but obviously these are exclusively made for Nat Sherman's and you've got the bolivar number five bolivar number 11 bolivar 130 two tipped and two untipped 
box you got the here. cellophane. Okay. Wow. It's also interesting that there's a reflection of price of what this cigar is going to be sold for, not to exceed a particular amount, oh, wow. which was very popular in the United States with clear Havanas and those okay. products. Yeah. In the 30s, 40s, and 50s, it was legal at the time to set a price and everyone had to stick with it. So a lot of advertising, a lot of signage, things were advertised as a five cent cigar, things were advertised relative to their price and value. Mm -hmm. And here it clearly says, uh, ordinary retail price of the cigars herein, contained as intended by the importers uh, to, to be more than 30 cents each. Steel. That's a steel. They're worth significantly more than 30 cents. Uh -huh. well, look, the ink even looks like it's wet on yep. there. Yeah, well, it's these, right. these did um, have yeah. a problem. They were stored in a humidor, yeah. both collections, and the uh, humidification system leaked. Right. And so these were damaged. Okay. Uh, we don't sell them, we just yeah. purely hold on to them. But right. this damage, and on the other packs, the damage is from that humidification problem. So it has a um, the grease paper that comes inside the box as well. Mm -hmm. well that was from here. <laughs> so made in Havana, Cuba on the back. It's not in probably meant to be inside yeah. the box though, yeah. Let me keep that. Okay. Tina's up there with um, 1494 people. It's uh, fully capable of... And just to let you guys know, these guys just doesn't have three boxes here. They've got quite a few boxes here, which is just amazing. So we have some more Bolivars here. Now you can see there's a... I think this is a US, this must be a US seal here. Cigars, five, class. This, def, this seal must be put here. And then you've got the warranty seal, which is on the other side of the box because of the, the slenderness of the box itself. Cigars were called. No name. And it says, was that Clara Sim? Made made in Hav made in Havana, Cuba. It's stamped with ink, and the cigars inside it were these. You got the Bolivar tipped, two in tipped, and the rest not. So you got a. So it looks like a, a. This one here is a tipped with Figurado. Tipped. It's like a petty corona corona. Huge government seals, aren't they? Compliments of Nat Sherman. 1400 Broad, Broadway's New York. Fantastic. This is so. They were just on their way down. Right? <laughs> That's actually a great question. Although. You want a little bit more light? Is that Clarissimo? Clarissimo, yeah, Clarissimo. Which I don't know. I've never seen that. Never seen that before. Well, clearly, I mean, these are these are very American market focused. Yeah. Uh, and there's also here similar language to a, a, a set price. This also references tax. Right. On the stamp. On the, the stamp. Other one didn't. And the tax stamp. It must be this. The five. The five class stamp. So this is a U, this is a US stamp here. Mm -hmm. It's missing here. And it's, yeah, it was yeah. here though. You yeah, can see. yeah. These were imported uh, to sell no more than twenty cents each. Twenty cents each. <laughs> and are tax paid. <laughs> Stamped. Wow. <laughs> we can't even get matches for twenty cents. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Te lo juro. 